our hospital just got noticed that we were going to close, but we're actually fighting. The interfaith is basically the government is trying to close. They are not uh, providing us with sufficient funds. And that's why we are here uh, demonstrating against the closure of the hospital. Interfaith is actually located in the center of Brooklyn and we serve the poorest population. Yeah. Not only that side. Bushwick too, that's right. Bushwick too. That's, right. that's correct. It, this is about all the care of all of North, West, and Southwest Brooklyn, if not Central Brooklyn. We have people that will travel all the way from Flatbush yeah, to come to Interfaith Medical Center. Interfaith. Our community will perish. This is about when you have an emergency, I have an emergency, or anyone, where are you going to get the best care immediately? Not be stabilized and then have to get on another ambulance over potholes. This is about, you know, world-class city that we say we are. Where is the world? Where are the world-class services? Healthcare being at the top of that list. Reasons, Wall Street. Okay, I think so it's well. a prime property. You know, so Wall Street wanted to do whatever they want to do. They don't care about us small people who really need somewhere to get our medical attention. And this hospital, which not only serves the poor people, also trains uh, residents, doctors, and 25% of them stay in Brooklyn and serve Brooklyn population. So basically, you are creating doctors, trained doctors for Brooklyn. My son was born at uh, Long Island College Hospital 28 years ago almost. My mom, I've been a patient at Long Island College Hospital, and my mom, who now is in her 90s and uh, has Alzheimer's, her geriatrician is at Long Island College Hospital. Our main message is not only serve the rich people and rich area, serve the poor people as well.